怕。What's going on? Oh, nothing. Doopy 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 doo. Pah! I'd like one of those for my deck. I wonder if I even had a deck. I can't seem to remember anything. My most generous hosts have granted me a whole chair. That is a door. It is closed. I hate grates. Hello? Hello? Can anybody hear me? What do you want? I want out of here. Forget it. What kind of way is that to treat a guest? We won't give up that easily, will we? Hey? Hello? Don't make so much noise in there. What do you want? Where am I? Honey, if I answered that question every time one of you loonies asked me, I wouldn't even have time to go to the bathroom anymore. <laughs> Listen, honey, I'm not paid for talking. Anything else? Who am I? You are by far the most annoying patient I've ever had to guard. Patient? Am I sick then? I certainly don't feel sick. Listen, sweetie, you're in a room with padded walls. Why don't you try to figure it out for yourself? I'm not insane. Isn't that so, Harvey? Right, she isn't insane. Do you hear? Harvey agrees. <laughs> you really are an odd couple, the both of you. <laughs> Why can't I remember anything? I'm not going to explain that to you yet again. Only so you can forget it during your next treatment again. Why is it so hot in here? That might be due to the air conditioner being turned off. What air conditioner? There's no air conditioner in here. <laughs> Do you think the doctor is stupid enough? To have an exposed ventilation shaft in your cell? <laughs> the air conditioner is hidden behind the padding, of course. Is that so? An air conditioner behind the padding? That does make much more sense, of course. Can you turn on the AC for me, please? I'll have to think about that. If you keep quiet from now on, maybe... Later! Let me out! This is an emergency! Oh, is it? I have to pee. Ah, the good old I have to pee trick. Truly a classic. Do you honestly think you get to be a warden in an asylum for the insane if you ever fall for that one? What if I really have to pee? Yeah, yeah, very clever. I really have to seriously, urgently go pee. Don't try that with me. Just don't. I'm a bit dizzy. Well, that's probably because of the stale air in there. I suppose I could get up now, walk over to the controls of the AC, and provide you with some fresh air. But then again, 
Maybe I won't. I'm hungry. Dinner's at six. It's a shame that all you'll get is bread and water again. It's free choice day at the cafeteria, you know. I need to check what the weather is like. Well, the early autumn sun is resting low in an orange sky. The air is so clear that the distant light is sparkling in the mountain reflections. It's around 65 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a lovely day outside. But you won't be able to see it, I'm afraid. Oh, I'm mistaken. No emergency at all. That's even better. Anything else? I couldn't help but notice how skillfully you're guarding this door. Ah, you noticed that, eh? So you might have also noticed that I have my own technique. I developed it at the last tournament. Yep. Really? So you're a famous athlete? Do you play on a team or something? Oh, <laughs> I... well, I play golf. Mini golf. Yep. And I bet Mommy bought the club for you. Ha! <laughs> Do you think that a Babbitt and Son can be bought in just any store? Where did you get it? Did you steal it? I think this is all very exciting. Watch your mouth! I've never stolen anything in my life. Where did you get it then? Is it from the junkyard? You can find the most curious things there. Watch your mouth! Nobody throws out a gem like a Babbitt and Son. Where did you get it then? Did you carve it from a whale's jawbone? Ha! The whale has yet to be born! Whose jawbone can compete with the impact of a genuine Babbitt and Son? I give up. Where did you get it? My father made it for me. Jeffrey Francis von Babbitt Sr. Really? As he lay on his deathbed with shaking hands, he handed over his own Babbitt and Son Titanium 7 Iron. <laughs> his lucky club. He told me to use it like he taught me. That sounds like one of those sophisticated father and son relationships. Yes. My father was a very sophisticated man. He was so suave that he always wore a tuxedo. Sometimes at night, I even put on his top hat. Just to find out how it felt to be as debonair as my father. Do you mean that kind of sophisticated? Um... Well... Anyway... Thanks for sharing this completely useless information with me. You're a real daddy's boy, aren't you? My father was a great man. And an incredible mini-golfer, I'm sure. Yep. I wonder if my father was a mini-golfer, too. What did you say, sweetheart? Your father was many things, but mini-golfer wasn't one of them. <laughs> What do you know about him? There are things that are better left in the past. <laughs> oh boy. Father a mini golfer. That really cracks me up. <laughs> Thanks for the laugh. <laughs> Is that all? Or do you want to know anything else? Why don't you take your daddy's club and whack it across your skull? <laughs> You're mean. <laughs> My poor father. Just you wait. I hope you suffocate in there. You can forget about me turning on the AC for you. Um, hello? Hello, Edna. What's up? What is this place? I have no idea, but I want to get out of here. Me too. It seems to be some kind of asylum. This must be a misunderstanding. Who the heck are you? And what? You can speak? I'm your buddy, Harvey. It's a shame you don't recognize me. I'll help you get out of here and try to restore your memory. How's it going, Harv? I'd be much better if we were out of here already. 
go and have a look around then. Maybe I can find a way out of here. I don't want a table that boring. Now maybe, if it was a pool table... Let's see how detachable this chair leg really is. That didn't do much now, did it? If only I had something pointy. That didn't do much now, did it? If only I had something pointy. Oops. I broke my chair leg. Yeah, baby! Let's trash the whole place! I've done enough slashing for now. I'd like to know more about mini golf. Well, who doesn't? Have I already told you that I play in the professional league? Yep. Could you let me out and show me some of your golf skills? You know full well Dr. Marcel forbids that. If you're just trying to annoy me, I'll come in and play some mini golf on you. Tell me more about your club. I've already told you everything about it. My father gave it to me. Yep, yep, yeah. A formidable man. Uh, you know what? I'm not the least bit interested in your father. Hey, show a little more respect, will ya? I could get rather touchy when somebody is trash-talking my father. He taught me everything I know about mini-golf. Mini golf? I'm getting all dizzy. And with good reason, sweetheart. You know what? I'll turn on the AC for you. You can cool off a bit that way.
There's a draft coming from behind this gap. I could just cry, Harvey. I can't loosen these screws. Ah, oh, come on. You should be able to eat screws like that for breakfast. That certainly wouldn't have stopped you when you were little. What do you mean by that? Well, you used to be able to pull off a pretty cool trick. Could I juggle burning chainsaws? Not exactly that. But a couple of stupid screws would never have been an obstacle for you. I must have been an extra laid-back kid. What else do you know? Um, that isn't how it works. Just remember, I'm a projection of your subconscious. Nobody's perfect. I can give your memory a boost. But you'll have to show me things that remind you of your childhood. Like the screws? Exactamundo! And then? Then I'll tempo morph us to the past. Cool. I'm ready, Harvey. Shall I tempo morph you to the past now? What exactly do you mean by tempo morph? Does that hurt? Will my body be split into molecules? And beam backward through time? Something like that. Yippee! Yeah, Temple morph me to the past. As you wish. Hold on! So this is the past? It looks like our old basement, at least. And look at me! I'm young! We've jumped back about ten years! Don't I have to be careful now that I don't run over my own grandpa or something? No more than usual. We're just observing your memory here. Ah, I see. So I don't have to be careful in case I step on some dinosaur eggs. Not if you can find any. I know what day this is. My father locked me up in the basement because I teased the neighbor's boy. His name was... Albert, or... Alfred. Alfred Marcel. Alfred Marcel? Like in Dr. Marcel? Oh, no. You better believe it. He's the son of the doctor in charge of the asylum. Whoa. But this shouldn't be a concern for us. We're here to teach you the art of loosening screws without a tool. All right, then. Hmm. I have to get my bearings first. I'll go first, if you don't mind. We can take turns, okay? Okay. <laughs> 